This series of videos is going to go back through Algebra 1. We've officially made it towards the end of our semester and towards the end of our content. So we're going to go back through and review key topics, key features that are important as we head into other math courses. So the first one we're going to talk about is solving linear equations, being able to solve an equation. So the method we're going to use is we're going to perform operations to both sides of the equation in order to isolate the variable. So remember those properties of equality that we're going to use. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Sometimes we'll have to deal with fractions. Okay. Um, remember when we deal with fractions, we flip and multiply on both sides. Okay, by that denominator is really what that sentence is truly saying there. We have these steps, and I'm not going to read them to you. You can see that the important features are highlighted. We follow this thing called SADMEP. If we follow this arrow, we follow SADMEP. So that's just PEMDAS backwards. So we first want to simplify, combine any like terms. We're going to use addition or subtraction to move the variables and the constants on one side or the other of the equal sign. Then we use multiplication or division to solve. Um, and then we can check your answer by substituting if need be. Um, other notes when solving an equation, the variables are eliminated to reveal a true statement such as negative 13 equals negative 13 then the solution is all real numbers, okay, or infinitely many solutions. On the other hand, if the variables are eliminated to reveal a false statement, okay, negative 3 can never be, or negative 7 can never equal 3, then there's no solution. So I'm going to go through a series of examples here um, and work through some of these just to remind you on how this works. So I'm going to write, I'm going to split my screen and write while we work here. So the first example is 3x equals a negative 18. So we're going to go through our steps. There's nothing to simplify. There's no like terms to combine. Okay. Um, there's no addition or subtraction. Okay. Remember I've told you that mushing means to multiply. So I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So x equals a negative 6. And I could go back in and substitute that negative 6 in there. 3 times a negative 6 is a negative 18. Alright, let's look at the second one. We have x over 4 equals 2. Now, that is a fraction, and a lot of times we get confused by this fraction because we forget there's a coefficient of 1. There's a natural coefficient of 1 there. So, in order to get rid of fractions, we're going to multiply by that denominator. So, I'm going to multiply this side by 4, and I'm going to multiply this side by 4. So remember what happens is, is we have 4 times 1, which is 4x over 4. And we have 2 times 4, which is 8. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So these cancel. And we have x is just equal to 8. Alright, let's look at number 3. We have 8 equals a negative 4 times 2 plus x. So we're following SADMEP, but one of the conditions of SADMEP is we have to get rid of any multiplication or any um, fractions. And when I say get rid of any multiplication, I mean if there's something being distributed, we need to either distribute it or divide it. I'm going to distribute. So I think that's the most natural thing for us to do. So I'm going to get 8 equals a negative 8 minus 4x. So a negative times a negative, or negative times a positive is a negative, negative times a positive is a negative. 
So now I have to go through my stand up steps. I'm going to see, are there any like terms to combine? No. Can I move anything away from this X by adding or subtracting? The answer is yes. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So these cancel, and I have 16 is equal to a negative 4X. Well, if that's the case, then remember mushing means to multiply. So I'm going to divide by a negative 4. And I have X equals a negative 4. Four, we have negative two x minus one equals a negative thirty two over nine. All right, so we do have a fraction in this case, and this fraction doesn't have a variable, but it's going to make it difficult to solve. So what we're going to do here is we're still going to multiply by this denominator. I'm going to multiply this side by 9, and I'm going to multiply this whole side by 9. So when I do that, these 9's cancel, okay, just like up here, they're going to cancel. And I'm going to distribute this 9 to each piece. So negative 18x minus 9 is equal to a negative 32. I then can follow SADMAP. I want to know what I could add or subtract to the other side to isolate the X. Well, I could add 9. Remember, we're always doing the opposite because we want these to cancel. So I have negative 18X is equal to a negative 23 maybe, so 32 minus 9. And so then we have, then we'll divide by 18 and we'll make sure we take the negative with it. And so x just equals 23 eighteenths. And we can leave it as a fraction. Fractions are still numbers. That's an okay answer to have. Let's look at number 5. Number five, we have 8x minus 2 minus 3x equals 8. So again, the first question we ask ourselves, are we able to simplify? Okay, can we combine like terms? Well, the answer is yes. We have 8x and negative 3x. Those are like terms. They're the same term on the same side of the equal sign. So... 8 minus 3 is 5x. Okay. Now I go back and I go back to SADMAP. Is there something that I could add or subtract to get x by itself? I can add this too. So these cancel. I'm going to get 5x equals 10. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So x equals 2. Okay. Let's look at 6. 6, we have 3 halves x plus 7. And that equals can you get my lid? 10. Okay. All right. So, again, nothing to simplify. We have no like terms. So, again, we're going to ask, is there something that I could add or subtract to get this x by itself? I can subtract 7. So, I'm going to get 3 halves x, these cancel, is equal to 3. But then I have a fraction, okay? I'm going to get rid of this fraction now by multiplying by 2 on both sides. 
because I want this denominator to be eliminated. I want it to cancel. So I have 3x is equal to 6. Mushing means to multiply, so we undo multiplication with division. And x equals 2. Alright, four more examples. Number seven, we have x minus eight is equal to x plus five x. Okay, so there's no like terms, but you'll notice this time we have an x on either side of the equal sign. We're still going to go about our business the same. Okay, I personally like positive x values. So I'm going to subtract the x on either side because I want to keep this x value positive, positive 4. Okay. Then I'm going to decide to subtract this 8 because it's positive because I'm still trying to isolate this x value. It's being added. I undo addition with subtraction. So these cancel, but I'm going to get negative 16 is equal to 4x, and this marker is donezo. Okay, so I get to divide now by 4, and x is equal to a negative 4. Eight, a little bit longer of a problem here. One minus seven x plus five x is equal to negative eleven x. Negative eleven minus five x. Okay, so the first thing we're going to notice is we are able to combine like terms. So we have two of the like things on one side of the equal sign. So this is 1 minus 2x is equal to 11 minus 5x. Again, I like positive variables, so I'm going to add 5x to either side. So these cancel, I'm going to get 1 plus 3x is equal to 11. I'm going to subtract the 1 because I'm trying to isolate x. I'm going to get 3x is equal to 10 and I get to divide to simplify. So x is equal to 10 thirds and again fractions are numbers that answer is a-okay. Right, let's try two more. So number nine, we have 35 minus x equals negative four minus three, one plus five x. So a couple things we got going on here. We need to distribute. So I'm going to distribute, and this is going to be negative four minus three x minus 15x, and that's still going to equal this 35 minus x on the other side. I have like terms I can combine, so 35 minus x is equal to negative 4 minus 18x. If I like positive variables, I'm going to add 18 to the other side, so 35 plus 17x is equal to a negative 4. I'm going to subtract 35 to the other side. So 17x is equal to a negative 39. Divide by 17. And let's see. It does not go in evenly. I combine them. 
Mm-hmm.